Okay, so I'm waking up some more. I just finished uh, video, excuse me, video number 13 for the Spanish series. Um, I wasn't as awake as I wanted to be. I'm more, much more awake than I was this morning, of course, and than I was, excuse me, in chemistry class. My migraine is starting to go away. I think I had a caffeine headache. I bought a an espresso machine. What's today? Tuesday. So I bought an espresso machine. Espresso machine two weeks ago. It was just a cheap one, a Mr. Coffee one, you know, for like thirty bucks at Target. Freaking amazing, by the way. Very amazing. I love it. And I've been making my white chocolate mocha at home. So all I need is the espresso. On um, espresso grounds, I got mine from Starbucks, and then. Let's see what else, some white chocolate chips and some milk. 2% milk because I heard it was best to froth it. Or something about the thickness of it. It's not too thick, not too thin, blah, blah, blah. Whatever the case may be, it's freaking delicious. So I had some, um, I think it's like the batch that I made is, a, is the equivalent of what, four espressos. And I can't wait because I go to Italy this summer. Well, I'll go back to Italy, but I'll actually be having, well, no, I'll be staying there about a week longer than I did the first time. It'll just be on the mainland, but this time I'll try their espresso. I'm really freaking excited. Just saying. Because some, I read something like a couple weeks ago, like how they drink coffee and stuff and how it differ from America. And um, also about the breakfast. Someone had a blog and they said that Italians don't eat eggs for breakfast like that. Um... When I was in Italy, when I was eating breakfast, that's when I was getting off of work. So, hmm, 7 o'clock in the morning, I don't even remember what I ate at 7 o'clock in the morning. 7.30 or 8 o'clock, <laughs> I honestly don't. Um, I know if I wanted to go anywhere, I had to go through the, all my time, you know, and suffer like a sleep or whatnot. But anyways, um, I'm back to doing German, working on the daily videos. I tried to do it last night. I mean, I really honestly tried doing a video in German last night, but I got messed up by the daylight savings time. And like now it's 6.05. I, it's still really light. Really, really bright outside. The sun is still shining. So, um, yeah, about the time I was done with uh, that Spanish video, I was, I was beyond tired. Um, and I knew if I stayed up any later that it would just mess today up. And honestly, I probably could have just stayed up because today was already messed up. Barely any sleep. So anyways, I'm going to get back to this. I really want to, um, get better with my German. Uh, because I'm supposed to be going to Germany when September. I don't know why I'm talking like a robot, but... September of this year, supposed to be studying at Frey Universität Berlin um, through the ISA program, International Study Abroad. It's like twice as expensive as USAC, but the program in USAC, they go to the Lufana University of uh, Moonberg, which from when I was looking on the map, it said it was like an hour, what, hour and a half, little southeast of Hamburg. And, yeah, further away from Berlin. And, I you know, I've wanted to go to Berlin for quite some time there. I want to study there. Um, already, I honestly already looked at um, outside apartments there and whatnot. Um, so, anyways, I'm working on that. I'm going to get it. And, I mean, if something happens that I don't get it, that I don't get to go there, then I don't know what the heck to say. But I, I know that... Um, the GI Bill will help cover the cost. So the GI Bill, as well as financial aid, will help cover the cost for um, studying in Berlin. And I need to talk to financial aid tomorrow, too, about that. But I'm kind of waiting until this semester is over because I want my GPA to be even higher than it is now. So, yeah. I mean, to go study abroad with ISA, you know, you gotta have your GP has to be in the threes. I'm just saying right now, do not expect to get in there with a 2.5 GPA or even a 2.9. Actually, not even a 3.0, but 
I spoke to Miss Jessica. Um, I forgot her name. Let me look it up on my email right now. Um, ISA Jessica. Where's it, Jennifer? Jessica Mew. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes, her name is Jessica Mew. Um, she's a She's actually the senior program manager for Fiji and New Zealand, but you can still, you know, talk to her. I mean, she's the one who spoke to me when I was um, talking about requirements and such. And also, Rachel Rogers, but I think she's the person that sent fun funniest. I'm going to type the email now. I can't, I don't know what her department is anymore. But... Let me see. Hmm. I don't know. Oh well, whatever. Um, let me see. Let me see about the GPA really quickly. Because since I'm on that topic, what did? Okay, let me scroll all the way back down. Jesus. Oh, just kidding. You can have a 3.0 GPA. I think it's the one in Greece that's higher. What the heck did I read that was like, you must have a 3.75 GPA? I can't remember. But there was something. So, okay, I just, um, I got it. Okay. Okay, and then the other thing here that I've talked to my study abroad about, um, because they're the ones who got set up with ISA. So Jenna from you told me, uh, this is word for word, they do not accept community college credit as applying towards the cum cumulative GPA. Um, Sent this before that, they require, okay, let me start over. They require that students have completed at least one year at a four-year institution at the time of application so that they can see your GPA for at least two semesters from a four-year institution. They do not accept community college credit as applying towards the cumulative GPA. In addition, you must have at least a cumulative GPA of 3.0. So, boom. This is reading out there. Um, Okay, let's see. Then they have summer. Well, step students with the 2.5 GPA or higher, at least two semesters completed. Uh, what? Oh, that's for the summer program. If you want to go to like the summer program or something. I don't know. I have a whole bunch of, she sent me a whole bunch of uh, stuff here at the bottom. I'm not going to go through everything. So yeah, summer programs are different. I'm talking about fall semesters and such. Now, I go to a community college right now. Um, transferring back into the university. Actually, I go to both um, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, then I will be going um, to the University of Arkansas. Um, finishing there. Well, finishing both places, but you get what I'm saying. I only have one hard year pushing at uh, Embry-Riddle. And then after I leave here, I'll have, like, what, another, probably about another two years. I've been moving pretty fast in my classes. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so I told my department about them, you know, about the community college thing. I, I sent a word for word. I forwarded it. I don't just talk about it, you know. In life, you have to have documentation to prove anything, you know. I'm, I'm just saying you need documentation. And they set this up, and... They weren't exactly happy about the response that was sent. So, who knows? But if you decide you want to go to Berlin, you need to make sure you look at their degree plans offered. I know with one of them, you have to be in, like, what, international relations, something, which is a dual degree that I'm doing right now. Actually, I'll be getting fully set up in that dual degree program when I get into my, um, uh, my advising appointment at the end of this month so we can see how much further I have 
are my current electrical engineering degree in addition to, you know, the international relations degree. I mean, this is just certain things you have to look up. As far as how the German language pertains to all of this, then at, at the Freie University of Berlin, they actually teach classes in both English and German. I don't German well yet. <laughs> I mean, this on here is considered intermediate German. Uh, I pick it up fairly easy, fairly, fairly easily when my brain wants to work and I'm not, I don't know, fried from over-processing. I don't know. But I pick it up fairly easily. I pick it up quicker when I'm actually speaking it. Um, but, you know, to actually go to a school... I mean, in that, in a country that speaks predominantly German, is that something I've never um, had the opportunity to do prior to now? So for me, I feel like this, this is this even more is uh, more important for me to do this, and it's the main reason why I'm studying German. Well, okay, I lied, I lied, I lied. Hold on, let me go back. The main reason I'm studying German is because I studied it as a kid. Well, not as a kid. I'll say like, what was it, like about 18, 19 when I first started studying it. Um, so young adult, let's, let's say that. And again, I've, I've, I used it on and off when I worked in restaurants. Um, and I really loved it, you know, and I grew up in South Florida. So, hey, just saying. You know, you get people from all around the world there. I was exposed from a very early age to people of various um, ethnic backgrounds, cultural backgrounds, you know, language backgrounds and such. So that's the main reason why I'm learning German. Well, mainly to, like, talk and whatnot. And I continue it to be completely fluent. By completely fluent, I mean as I'm talking now. Let's be for real. I don't know English 100%. I still ask what the heck a word or a phrase means. You know, so if anyone says that they're 100% fluent in a language, I mean, 100% fluent, you got to just take it for what it's worth, you know. That's like you and I, you and I talking. That's like me talking right now. That's what I consider 100% fluent. That's how I want to be in German. So, yeah. But... Uh, I know I s I've been speaking for quite a while, and I think I was going to talk about, you know, study abroad as much, but, you know, I'm, I don't know, I'm happy, I'm excited, I'm ready for this semester to be over, because I get to start my travels, and I've also been thinking about, I don't know, while I'm in Italy this summer, um, for the month, I want to stay in July. Just stay in July, come back sometime in like August and start prepping to leave again. So I'm just ready to get up and travel. I mean, honestly, I can see myself as a translator, uh, you know, globe trot trotting. I mean, not just a translator either. I know there's other jobs out there for multilinguists and such, but this is what I can truly see myself doing. As well as doing stuff in my electrical engineering degree. I love building stuff. You know, I have plans for... Uh, like a robotics company and such like that. So, and that's going to happen. But I still know I will be working with people from around the world. And instead of having to hire he, her, them, and they to translate between myself and whomever else, I don't want to be that person. I mean, in general, I like... I don't have to be a master of all. I like learning. I just like learning some things about as much as I can. You know, just at least knowing enough. At least knowing enough to get by in a certain field or whatnot. And, I mean, it does take dedication, but it's, it takes dedication to a certain extent. I'm not mastering everything that I want to learn and whatnot. That'll just take 5,000 lifetimes, in my opinion. But, <sighs> I don't know. I see myself doing stuff with languages, traveling, talking with people. Um, 
I'm very personable. I can speak to pretty much anyone. I used to be that shy person and, yeah. Uh, not saying that, that sh being shy is, you know, like a terrible trait. It's just, when I'm thinking about it, I also had, like, thought about other reasons why I was shy, like, I used to have low self-esteem about myself, about the way I talk, and even singing at one point, because I didn't like my voice. I wasn't ever tone deaf, but hey, whatever. But I got over it. And But again, I had a lot of that self, low self-esteem because of what others did to me, and I just took accountability for myself, and I was like, screw it! I'm going to love myself. So... All of it helps me because now, and being in the military too, and having to really speak in front of people and other people that really judge you, and you know, they have it's a different type of judgment. <laughs> but I feel more comfortable now. As a matter of fact, I feel more comfortable speaking languages with other people than I did before, and that's just because I'm a perfectionist, but I've been trying to get rid of that slowly but surely. I mean, there's there's a time and place for perfectionism. I don't think it should run your life completely. Uh, it ran mine for so many doggone years, for 20-something years, it ran my life. I'm not allowing it now. So, as well as, I've taken off a lot of pressure on me. I used to put massive, massive, massive amounts of pressure. And even driving home today, I was like, I was thinking about how much pressure I used to put on myself, and I took a year off, you know, like all last year off, to uh, pretty much not focus on trying to accomplish this, this, that, and the other. I mean, I did, but I didn't, if that makes sense, and it's very relaxing. It definitely is very relaxing, so, I mean, I don't... I feel like I can think more too. I feel much more organized and I've actually been moving. I've been progressing a lot more than I have been. If I haven't, did not take that year off, I would not be where I'm at today. And it might not look like much. I mean, you only know me from, well, here. And if you see my stuff on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, you know, I'm not big yet. <laughs> I did this for the love of it. But, um, the fact that I'm posting like every day, almost every single day because there's like at least a couple of days during the week where I'm off either posting on some social media site or doing a video or something. I mean, it's just like it happens, but I'm, I'm much more consistent now and I'm much more organized, whereas prior it wasn't like that. So from like, I think it was October 2016 to like October of 2017 I took that year off and that's when I first moved to where I'm at now I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it my doctor doesn't even want me working I need to heal I have injuries blah 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 I need to just take this time for me I need to reevaluate myself and learn how to relax because I was always running, 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 running. Especially when I got in the military, I mean, not special when my first job working on jets. I was like, this is the life. I'm always moving. Finally, a job that can keep up with me. Most of the time. So, and again, I know I'm rambling, but it's, this is uh, pretty much a revelation for me. Um, just talking about different, I guess you could say, just talking about different goals and it just feels nice to look back, see where I'm at now, and see that I'm actually doing what I want to do. I'm much more dedicated to learning uh, my languages. I'm much more focused on learn learning them. I'm much more organized. I'm still not as, as organized as I want to be, but you know what? I'm happy. I used to always complain, you know, if I only made more money, I can be more organized. If I... If, if only this happened, I had more time in the day to do this, to do that. If only this, if only this, if only this. I'd have a helper to help organize my stuff. I Maybe I should hire somebody to manage my social media accounts and blah, blah, blah. But, oh, wait, I don't have the money. How am I going to do this? Ah! So, 
I'm past that stage now. I'm past it. I'm happy. I got over the. I'm not. As, I'm not successful. I'm not where I'm, I need to be. I'm 29 years old now. I'm. I'm not this. I'm not that. You know, comparing myself to society, which I know is wrong. But there are still. I'm. Um, and I know life is a lifelong learning process. And if people say they're not learn, they hit a point where they're not learning anything anymore. Then why the hell are they living? I'm not saying for them to go off themselves, but. Every, I believe every day you learn something new. If you don't learn something, your eyes are not open. Your ears are not open. You're not, you're not open. So, to experiencing more, to seeing the experiences around you, or ex- ex- what, ugh, whatever. But, no. So, I guess, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I went on. I need to stop. I'm just happy where I'm at today. I'm much more consistent. I'm happy. I don't care how many views I have, how many followers I have, or whatnot. The fact is, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. This is a hobby for me, it you know, but it's it's not just that. It's a real passion of mine. And, I mean, I really hope that anyone watching any of my videos, whether they be language learning or just random videos, randomness, or whatever the case may be. You know, I do it because I love doing this, and I hope, you know, others will love it as well. And if they don't, you know, if you have, I don't care, leave it in the comment. If you don't like my video, you can say you suck. Go right ahead. I don't care. You know, that's just how it is. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. I do this because I love it. It's a passion of mine. I'm very happy to do it. I'm very happy to share my adventures. You know, I mean, why go through life not knowing? I mean, I guess there's ups and downs to it, but, or contributing, I should say. I feel like these are my tributes. There are people who cannot even get out of bed. Uh, I know I started my, this uh, vlog two years ago because of someone that's in a bed, or sick with a- ALS, uh, my neighbor who I grew up with. Well, my friend who's mom, we all, we grew up together. So, I started sharing these with, because of her, and then one thing led to another, and, well, here you are. So, okay, I'm going to shut up now. And you might hear me say, like, things like, what the fuck, or something, if I mess something up, which I more than likely will, because I haven't studied German in two days. Um, I've been really pushing Spanish since I got over my block, so, whatever. And don't worry, if you want to, I'll put the, uh, skip or time to start the video if you don't want to hear me go on and on and on. So, I'll put that in the description somewhere. She, right? Yes. By the way, there's this German um, workbook I used to have. It taught me so much. I don't know who it's by. I thought I saw it once when I was looking it up within the last couple of years. I missed that workbook. As soon as I figure it out, I'll let you know whatever it is. So, yeah. Good morning. Sie drückt mir die Hand. Sie drückt mir die Hand. Okay, I don't know. Sie drückt mir die Hand. Der Zahn. Son. Der Finger. Der Arm. Mein Hals. Hals. I was actually getting ready to write house. I don't know why I spelled it like that. 
Er hat zwei Hände. Der Finger. Die Hand. Ich habe zwei Hände. Das ist meine Hand. Er hat ein Dutzend Arme. Die Zähne. Er hatte neun Finger. Sein Mund. Der Hals. Hals. Ich habe zwei Arme. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This right here, dear, uh, D, DOS, whatever, all of that, I still get confused with this. And I need, after I'm done with this video, I need to finally sit down and <laughs> write these out. But I also need to go over the endings. Um, I think I'm getting better with them, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting confused. Um, and then also, like, the right time to use, like, ein, eine, einen, uh, sei, seine, seine, um, like, the, the, like those, for instance. Those trip me up in my videos, or in my studies, period. Whether it's doing it on the laptop or on my, um, phone, which I honestly hate doing on my phone anymore because, well... Ever since I changed my screen, my, my phone's been, the, the touch screen's been, it's, 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 it's just been touchy. It was worse before I took it apart and redid it again, but, yeah. Which also helps me get on a laptop, and then I'll sit some of you on a laptop, and it kind of makes me want to take videos more. So anyways, yeah, I need to... I need to, I need to figure out, I need to get my life together. Sie drückt mir die Hand. Sie drückt mir die Hand. Sein Mund. Das Herz. Herz. Ihr Rücken. Ihr Rücken. Die Schulter. 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 Seine Brust. Brust. Der Magen. Mein Rücken. Die Brust. Magen. Mein Herz ist schwach.
schwach. Insekten haben keine Schultern. Insekten, Insekten. Insekten haben keine Schultern. Sie und ich, wir haben zwei Herzen. Meine Schultern. Der Rücken. Mein Magen. Ich habe zwei Schultern. Sein Rücken ist groß. Der Magen. Meine Schultern. Yeah, I need to get the ending right. I feel much more comfortable in Spanish doing that. Oh wow, collection of bones. Der Fuß. Der Fuß. Die Haut. Die Haut. Das Bein. Das Bein. What? Uh, Bein. What? Hm. Ist das dein Blut? Das Blut. Das Gesicht. Das Gesicht. Seine Beine sind lang. Mein Bein. 
Insekten haben sechs Beine. Das Gesicht ist rund. Seine Beine sind lang. Du hast zwei Beine. Mein Gesicht ist nicht rund. Die Haut. Haut. Der Fuß. Wasche deine Füße. Wasche deine. Ich habe zwei Hände und zwei Füße. Das Bein. Seine Beine sind lang. Let's read some tips and notes. Hmm. Rosen mit Blumen. Mit. Oh, pants. Okay. I should remember that word. Every time I see it. Okay, when I hear it, I think of Rose. Yeah, I think of, like, Rosa right afterwards. Or a split second later, whatever, right afterwards. But I feel like, oh, excuse me, I feel like I know that word from somewhere. Not from German. Since the first time I ever heard it, I, I, I don't know where I heard it from. I just, I don't know. Du lernst von ihm. Von 
Nimm. Rosen mit Blumen. Seit dem Frühstück? Seit dem Anna spielt mit uns. Spielt. Der Tee ist von meiner Schwester. Keiner von uns ist perfekt. Von. Yes. Wir essen mit Freunden. Ein Bruder mag Tee mit Zucker. Das Rezept ist von meiner Mutter. Rezept. Wir spielen mit Kindern. Niemand von uns ist willkommen. What? No one? Niemand? Never? Niemand. None. Er ist einer von uns. Von means both with. No, it's. No, just up. Von. Is mit. Okay. Die Katze spielt mit einem Hund. Ich sehe dich von meinem Haus. Dich. Mein Baby spielt mit den Kindern. Lernst von ihm. Wir essen mit Freunden. Die Katze spielt mit einem Hund. Er geht zu uns. Zu. Geht. Zu. Uns. Die Milch ist bei dem Käse. Bei. Er geht zu uns. 
Er geht zu uns. Ich fahre nach Deutschland. Fahre. Wir fahren nach Frankreich. Frankreich. Ich will nach Bayern. Will. Ich gehe nach Österreich. Wir fahren nach Bayern. Ich fahre nach Berlin. Nach. Wir fahren nach Frankfurt. Oh, crap. Die Frau rennt nach Österreich. Rennt. Wir schwimmen von Deutschland nach Österreich. Ja, die Mutter ist bei dem Baby. Das Hotel ist bei meinem Haus. Er ist bei seinem Partner. Ich gehe zu ihm. Er geht zu uns. Ich will nach Bayern. Wir fahren nach Frankfurt. Er ist bei seinem Partner. Do this last lesson and call it quits for now. With German. Sie geht zum Schloss. Schloss. Wir gehen zur Schule. Ich gehe zum Park. Wir sind beim Abendessen. Sind. Bein. Vom Mann zum Vater. Zum. Vom. Ich 
gehe zur Schule. Ich gehe zum Park. Ich gehe zum Park. Ich gehe zum Schloss. Meine Eltern lesen die Zeitung beim Frühstück. Ich gehe zur Bank. Trinkst du beim Essen? Gehst du zum Mittagessen? Mittagessen. Du rennst zum Restaurant. Wir rennen zum Garten. Wir essen Eier zum Frühstück. Okay, screw that. This doesn't want to work. I hate when this does this, the sound just goes. And it's just in this program. So I'm going to stop here. I'm probably going to study. I'm going to finish this, make a video or finish this up, post it. I might do Italian, but I have an exam tomorrow. And I need to ace this. I need to get an A. I need to get straight A's this quarter. Meet my GPA to be a 4.0. <laughs> I know I can do it. I just, I don't know. Last couple lessons been rough. So, anyways, have a great day, guys. Or night.